This I've got to be in frame. Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, another reaction type video. It's the song Epic High. What is it called in Korean? Epic High. It just says it in Hangul. Okay. Epic High by Rosario. And it's the reason I clicked on it is because it's featuring Zico. And I like Zico's music. But I just found this two new songs from two groups that I've never heard of before. Um, one was MCND, but that song was Crush. It came on as an ad on my YouTube, and that was a fucking bop. And then the other one was, that was even the name of it. It was a really good song. I really fucking liked it. Where are you? It's by this group, Cody Lee. The song was Japanese. The title's in Chinese. It came out, I think it said two months ago, apparently. But it was good. It was nice. Let's watch this video. So far, it's vertical. I really like the aesthetic of it. Because it's dark. Kind of eerie. This dark, this hallway. I'm curious about what the storyline is. Why he's been shot, stabbed in the chest. Why he has a dog. I really like that it's a uh, vertical. Would have been cool to see on my phone. This is pretty. I like the beat and the cadence of the words. I'm trying to figure out what the instruments are. Because I like everything that's playing. Okay, rings. I like their outfits. And the jewelry and all the details. I wish I knew what they were saying. Because I'm sure it fits the storyline. But I like the contrast of the dark, um, red and neutral colorings in the hallways. The warm colorings. And then the really cool room. Cool toned room. I'm sure that probably meant something, the burning of money. Okay, shining reference. I really like her room. All the paintings and stuff. Especially. Okay, so we just saw the symbolism who shot him. Okay, now we're seeing him actually shot shot. With the remote control. I need to look at the lyrics. Figure out what's going on. Based on a true story. Hold on. Should I have watched that first? Is Epic High the group? I think Epic High is the group. And the song is called. Rosario. So that that is on me. That is on me. I've done goofed a little bit. But I really like the song. I feel like I need to listen to it again though. I like the equiness of it yeah. in the beginning, that intro. And it sounds like they have a vocal yeah. thing yeah. as an yeah. instrument. Yeah. Why didn't you notice that he had he switched to get the muscle on? It sounds just hard, like aggressive. Like, who are they talking to? I really need to know the story. Don't worry, we're gonna look into it. I like the Latin music instruments. Or that's the vibe that I was getting from those from the instruments at play. The intro. Come with the rose, leaving only thorns. My dear who has gone away. Someone or something. Like it could be a person, could be a concept that started out great, really endearing, beautiful. But it had a negative impact. You were pulled in and then are now only left with like a negative connotation, a negative effect from it, pain from it, hurt from it. My dear who has gone away, who's the dear? I'm gonna be honest, I'm still confused who they're talking to. The vibe of the song made it seem like they were talking to somebody. Like it's something like you sing along with and picture someone to be, not to be angry at, but to converse with. Maybe it's someone talking shit behind your back, someone that's nice to your face, negative behind you and that you want them to be away from you you don't want that energy around you like missing a body or missing a heart isn't it as easy as killing us and we can what are they talking about 
leaving someone behind? Who are they talking? What is this about? I'm so fucking confused. What's annoying me is that the but it seems like it's got a very beautiful lyrical meaning. Like it, it's supposed to be saying something. It's supposed to be talking to a specific person that's about something specific. What's the play up of religion? What are they comparing to sin? What, what is the sin that they're comparing to? The song's called Rosario. Is that supposed to be like in reference to rosary? Is it like a loss of faith? Who? I feel like it's a metaphor for something. What I want to say, what I want to come on, bite it and talk. Don't want your prayers. Don't want your roses. Ain't no one dying today. It sounds like this conversation is to fake people that to your face talk you up, want you to succeed, but behind you are wishing ill on you, talking negative. Maybe the sin is jealousy. Maybe they're talking, trying to convince you to do things, subtly trying to convince you to do things that would negatively impact you in your future and your goals. Like they don't actually want you to succeed, but they're trying to advise you in ways to hurt you rather than help you, to do more harm than good. Like stop trying to advise me if you're not going to help. It seems fake, like you're not actually trying to be there for me. Like they're trying to give comfort in a wrong way, making you feel like you're a lost cause. I don't know. This is just this is what I'm guessing. Am I in frame? Probably not. Who fucking cares anymore? Me, I care. It's, I feel like this, the chorus is saying, you know, I'm going to do it my way. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm doing it right. If hardship comes my way, I'm going to embrace it and move forward with it. I don't need your advice. I don't need you trying to tell me what to do, who to do, how to do it, whatever the fuck. I can do it on my own. I know what's best for me type thing. So this seems like a more clear, like less metaphorical, like a more simplified version. of, But instead of someone giving bad advice it sounds like someone's um been skewing his words changing his words fucking up the things he's saying to make painting out to be more negative than he actually intended um twisting his words in the hopes for his downfall it's a comparison to music and religion like you live and breathe this shit you're committed to it versus other people are trying to give you advice and talk to you about it when they don't really know it when they don't actually care about it they just don't want to see you succeed I don't know. It's easy to say bad shit. It's easy to be negative with just your word. You're all bark and no bite. This seems so pretty. And that's what's pissing me off is that I don't get it. Maybe, like, if I listen to an explanation of it, probably, like, a Korean explanation of what those actually words means, because there could be mistranslations or things that you lose their meaning in the translation, like puns, metaphors, analogies, or proverbs, or not proverbs, but, like, common idioms and ideologies that culturally differ with me being in a fucking American. It sounds like just throwing stones in glass houses. That's the vibe I'm getting. Like, you can't protect yourself from the things other people are going to say. They're going to say it anyways. But just because you, just some, someone else tries to tear you down, maybe you have to fight back. I don't know. Sometimes they'll have little comments, little explanations of things. In their documentary, um, apparently DJ took it. I don't know how to say that. He said he hopes that anyone who listens to the song can feel like a living legend for a moment and face life with more confidence. I mean, I do get that vibe. It makes me, like, it gives me badass bitch and no one can fuck with me energy. But I really want to hear an explanation of what the lyrics mean. What they meant to the original writers while they were making them. What it means to the artist. It gives an explanation, but it, again, it is in korean oh so it's also reading for breaking up with a close friend the rest in peace things close friend that fucked you over it seems a toxic friend you had to get rid of i fucking hate google translate you are not helping me okay so that part i guess the explanation was that don't try and act like you are all so much better than me almighty why are you looking down at me for my one mistake when everyone else has had 
has made mistakes in their own lives as well criticizing me limiting someone down to their one mistake okay those are the only two mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well this was fun <laughs> that's it for this video sorry i was looking at my screen the whole time hopefully i was in frame probably not because that's just my fucking luck wouldn't that just suck ain't that just the way bless <laughs>